Hey, so what I'm going to do today is um, I'm going to attempt to make a riding dress. So it's going to be, it's going to have the look of like a side saddle dress. Um, so it'll kind of be a wrap around. You'll have pants underneath or your breeches or um, your bloomers, whatever it is. Um, so I'm going to try and do this with little clips of videos and maybe edit them all together. I haven't done something like this before. I haven't made a riding dress before. So it's very much me just going to be using um, a sewing machine. You could sew it by hand if you didn't have a sewing machine and you really wanted to make this. I'm sure you could sew it by hand, just a little bit more dedication to do it. Um, I'm going to use a sewing machine because I'm fortunate enough to have one. Uh, what you'll also need is a top. Um, I have a brown and black corset top, so I'm going to be using that. And But anything that kind of gives you that Victorian look, like maybe ruffles around the neck, if it's like a racer back with a high, high neck collar, um, any kind of nice top that you think you'd want to use. I'm going to be using this for a photo shoot, so I'm going to, it's going to be a little bit more elegant looking, whereas um, I think back in the day with the hunt fields and everything like that, their attire was a little bit more dressed down. So mono, mono, earthy tones like browns and tweeds and uh, grays and blacks, not so much, um, not so brightly colored unless it was a special event maybe kind of thing. Uh, I don't know, I haven't done a ton of research. All I know is that when you do make a dress or you do have a dress for riding in, um, you want to make sure that when it is wrapped around you to look like a dress, that there is an opening on your what would be the off side or the right side of your body, um, what can happen is you can get hung up and the dress will get all tangled around the the saddle if you are riding a side or a stride. So making sure that that off side of your body is open and it just gives the look of the dress. I will not be riding in a side saddle for the photo shoot. What I'll be doing is using my regular dressage saddle um, and both one leg on either side, <coughs> excuse me, on either side. However, it will give the look of a side saddle dress. So like I said, what you need is a top, a bed sheet. I'm using a brown uh, kind of striped silkish looking bed sheet that I just happened to get and um, I'm going to cut it up. I have a piece of lace that I'll be using for um, kind of embellishments on it. Uh, some sort of elastic waistband or I'm just going to use like a shoelace or a piece of whatever I find. So I'll show you a little bits and pieces of what I'm going to use and then you can pick from there. Um, one second. Ooh. Okay, so this is the bed sheet. It's just a regular huge bed sheet. It's not the, the kind with the sides on it. So that's that. This is the piece of lace that I'll be using to go over top of the bed sheet to give it a little bit extra look. And this just happens to be a corset that I have that I'm going to use on top. I'm also going to try and make a fancy riding hat, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to try and get some pieces of this done, and then I'll check back in with you. Okay, so I have decided that I'm going to be cutting off the very top of the bed sheet that usually goes up by your pillows. So it's just that double folded over edge. Um, I'm going to be, I cut it off. So you can see I'm separating it from the rest of the piece of material. So I'll just give it a quick, I'll finish it off. Uh, next, what you want to do is roll over this edge um, so that it doesn't fray. Um, so I'll just show you how to do that. So that's separated. The reason that I separated that was just in case I can add it to part of the dress. Maybe I'll make it the waistband where I'll tie it around it. Maybe I'll do a fancy hat with it. But either way, a bed sheet is pretty big. So having this extra little piece of material for something else may come in handy. You don't have to remove it. It's your call. So now with my cut edge, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it over. See how they've folded this side over? I'm going to fold it the same way. I can fold it twice if I want to, so it totally removes the, the seam or the, that cut edge. So just like that, what you do is you fold it over once, fold it over twice. Now you can do the whole way along and pin, put pins in and then sew it. 
um, or I'll probably just be lazy and go along as I sew it because again, the details I don't care about. It's just the big finished product that's gonna look the way I want it to. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and sew it. I'm gonna assume for this video that everybody knows how to sew or that you can go and find a sewing video. I'm just showing the details of how to make the dress. So I'm excited, here we go. Hey, okay, so what I have done now, I cut my hole way too big, but that's okay, I'm gonna fudge it. Sorry about this crazy white light. I'm right by the window, so I have good light and it's like glaring, but so what I've done is laid the bed sheet out. Um, you can see that I did my stitch along. It's absolutely hideous. I don't care again. It's, it's fine. <laughs> so that was me finishing off the other, that cut seam. What else? Okay. So now what I've done is almost from, you can see all the bed sheet over here. Woo. I went to the corner of it and I cut a big hole. The hole is way too big. That's okay, I'm gonna make it better. So I want it to fit right underneath my corset at about mid waist height. So if you if you can cut your hole to be that big, again, I buggered it up, that's okay. But you wanna be able to fit in there. And the reason that I wanted to do that was so that I could have a little bit of material hanging on my off side. Now what's gonna happen is that, you can see you can wear pants underneath, all of my excess material, I'm going to be bust. I'm going to bustle. So there's lots of great YouTube videos on how to do a French bus bustle, an under bustle, an over bustle. Um, there's a whole bunch of different kinds. So you can pick something that really speaks to you that you like, or I'm probably going to do a combination of everything. So again, you're inside of your potential dress. This is all your excess material here, which you're going to bustle. So that basically means that you can reach under and pull it up so you get those draping effects. So that would be an under bustle. I can pick up another section and pin it up and that's an over bustle because I'm coming up over the material. So there's lots of different kinds that you can do. There's great YouTube videos out there. So now with my gigantic hole, how I did that was I measured across my waist. Obviously I screwed it up and I put uh, little white pencil marks around and this is my, the rest of my material. So how I cut into it was I just picked up a little piece. Oh boy. See, doing these videos is a lot harder. Everybody out there who does great YouTube videos, good job, because I just started doing this and it is quite a challenge trying to get all this done. So I pick up my material, I fold it in a little piece, and I go ka-chunk, and see that gives me a little hole, and that's where I then insert my scissors, and I'm just gonna cut the rest off. So. Uh, I found myself a waistband. It's just going to be a piece of string. Now what I want to do is try and fix the mess I made. So again, all I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little V where the string comes out and I'm going to fold it over. i got to keep doing this so that you guys can see it. So here's my string and I'm going to fold the material over wide enough that the string is in it. I'm going to sew under it. I can take the string out so I make sure I don't sew it in. And then I will weave it through later. Okay, so I'm going to give that a try. So now we're at the point where I have stitched um, around where the waistband loop is going to be. So you can see that again from the corner of the material, it's not very far in that I did cut the hole. So you can see that I just folded over the edge all the way around the circle, Woo, all the way around and I've stitched it. Um, so what I wanted to show you was that right here, which is pretty much across from the corner, I back stitched or really thickly stitched that right there. Then what I did was I took my scissors and I just went snip. You can see that my edges are fraying already. Um, if you wanted to make this a lot sturdier, a lot better, a lot more finished, what you should do is um, fold over those edges and stitch them in so that it doesn't fray as much. Um, you can see that I have most of my waistband in and then we'll use the the clip to push it through. Here we go. So now my clip, you can see it inside the waist 
inside the waistband of the material. Uh, when you do this, you just hold on to the clip, which is attached to your string, push it forward, grab it with these two fingers, and just slide it all the way along. And you can see I went all the way through. I'm just showing you the end of it. So I push it through. There's my clip. And there's my string. So now, when I put the dress up around my waist, I tie it and it's secured. So I can do that right now. I will put it on and let's see if it works or if it's totally, totally ridiculous. I'm just gonna bring you over here. I'll step into it. Okay, and now you can see I have it in. I'm going to cinch it up tight. Dur, 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 dur. Tie it in a bow. I can bring my corset over top. And there. So, again, if you remember that I said the right side of your dress, there I am, should stay open. And that's so that it's a safety thing. So, there's the rest of my dress. That of which ladies used to, it would all be bustled, and then they could bring it up because you wouldn't walk around like this with your butt and your bloomer sticking out. They would take the remainder of the dress and wrap it around them so that it did give the look of a full dress when you were not riding. So you can see it's all sealed up like I was wearing a real dress. Then when they would hop on the horse, they would undo it and there would be enough material hanging they would be side saddle, so there'd be enough material hanging here. I could even do a little bit of a bustle like that to cover myself. Um, so now with my piece of lace, what I'll end up doing is taking this, because it'll match my top really nicely, and I'll end up putting little details around it like that, however. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and bustle this dress. I'm going to do the bustle so that when I'm sitting on the horse, it gives it the finished look. Because again, for the photo shoot, I'll just be on the horse. I won't be running around in the countryside chasing fox or anything like that. So here it is. Um, and again, this is totally however you want it to look. Um, So I can actually take a pin and show you. So here's just regular bobby pin. You can use regular sewing pins or actually just stitch it and sew it wherever you like it. I, so that would be like one bustle. Just pick up the material and you can pin it. Um, this would be where you actually sew the material. But just to give you an idea of the effect that we want, so there is a draping. Okay, so here is my final presentation. So you can see that I ended up putting the tie in the back and scrunching it all in together. I still have my opening on my right side. I took my piece of lace and pinned it around here. And then I did just an over bustle under the lace. So I picked up the corner and brought it up here and pinned it, lay that over top. With the rest of the giant bed sheet, I took the corners that were there, all of them, and, and pinned them up. So I brought it all from underneath and brought it up. So it has that bubble, bubbled effect. So that's it. I am going to I'm going to wait till it's a little nicer out to possibly do this photo shoot because it's still it's really cold out today. It's like minus 20 something and it's middle of March. So, um when it's nicer out, I'll get the photographer out and we'll have a good time. Okay? Hope you like the video. Hopefully I can edit these together. Bye.